night fiery car crash, a young soldier dead as two others escape with their lives. Giving in, the Territory Government continues the popular tradies scheme after copping a hammering. The rush to enter the United States as Donald Trump fights to reinstate his controversial travel ban. And another bumper crowd for the women's AFL competition, with the Western Bulldogs showing they're the early favourites. Welcome to ABC News Sunday, I'm Stephen Schubert. A young soldier has been killed in a fiery crash in Darwin overnight. He's the fourth person to die on Territory roads so far this year, and police are urging drivers to slow down. This is what's left of a tragic crash. The top end is copying a drenching. It's led to some road closures and lots of flooding, as well as dangerous road conditions. And with the monsoon trough heading south, all eyes will be keeping a close watch on river heights in Catherine, with the region now next in line for big falls. Forecasters were hedging their bets this week. Darwin schools and the government are in damage control after a rolling brawl broke out in Darwin's biggest shopping centre on Friday. Outlookers captured the moment where large groups of students, still dressed in uniform, began throwing punches in the packed food court at Casuarina Square. Eatery staff had been left to pick up the pieces. The principals of three nearby schools, Dripstone, Casuarina Senior College and Sanderson, say they're working to identify the students involved. We'll be working together to make sure that we can work out exactly what's going on. We'll also be working with the, with the local police. So I understand that uh, it wasn't a great situation that happened out at Casuarina Shopping Square on the Friday night. Um, my understanding is more spectators than there were brawlers, if that makes sense. Authorities have recently been scrambling to contain public perceptions that youth crime and antisocial behaviour is out of control. Former Don Dale detainee Dylan Voller has arrived in Alice Springs to undergo rehabilitation after he was released early from prison. Voller's family celebrated last week when the Northern Territory Supreme Court granted him early release under 17 bail conditions. The 19-year-old's treatment in youth detention helped spark the Royal Commission into the Territory's youth justice and child protection systems. The ABC understands Voller was flown from Darwin this morning. Corrections staff were at the Alice Springs Airport to ferry a passenger from the tarmac away from the waiting media. Voller will spend 16 weeks at Bushmob, an Outback Youth Offender Diversion Program. Ahead of tomorrow's Royal Commission into institutional responses to child sexual abuse, senior Catholics have issued a warning to their parishioners. They say what will be revealed will be shocking. The message didn't quite come from the pulpit. And in breaking news relating to our earliest story on America's travel ban tonight, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal has denied the initial request by the US Department of Justice to have the travel ban re-implemented. They've asked both sides to file legal briefs before the court for further consideration. And that's tonight's ABC News. Enjoy your evening. Good night.